welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner-related videos, DIY videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I do load a new video. And if you could also comment, like, and share, <laughs> that would be amazing. So we are working in my commonplace journal. Now typically this is the very first video that I film and I do bulk filming on Saturday and this is no exception to that. However, I like to load these on Friday. I don't know why, but I wanted to test something out because of a comment that Charlotte had left for me on the last commonplace video. So we're actually going to play with some things. Now these markers I've had in my stash. I actually picked them up um, right around maybe like um, a few weeks after I picked up my big happy planner last year because I thought that some of these colors would be great dupes for the mild liners. They are not. Um, they're very pigmented, which is not a problem, but they bleed through the paper, which is a problem. Uh, now they bleed through the planner paper, which is a little thinner. I'm going to test if they bleed through Happy Notes paper. And then I also have just uh, the regular primary colors. Uh, these are mod liners that I've had in my stash. These are the Sangria pens that we've used before. And then I... I I kind of did a bad thing, guys. <laughs> so um, I don't know if you saw my Instagram post or Facebook, depending on, on which platform you're on, but I'm part of a committee that we did an ice cream social, and we were also doing a school supply drive and a rubber slipper drive for an elementary school that just pretty much is right on the other side of our property. And yes, uh, little kids who go to elementary school predominantly wear rubber slippers. You, you guys call them flip-flops, but they're rubber slippers here. Anyway, um, my coworkers had um, picked up a whole bunch of school supplies and my boss had picked these up from Walmart and she had like 10 of them. I'm like, could I have one of those? And I feel really bad. I mean, I really feel bad because there's going to be some kid that's not going to get watercolor stickers, but you know, for science, you, you just got to do what you got to do. <laughs> And I totally would have gone um, and picked some up, but I, I wasn't thinking about it. And so she's like, um, yeah. <laughs> she's like, do you need more? I'm like, no, I just, I just need the one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry, little child, that I stole your watercolors. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Alrighty, so let's, let's get in with our, our, well, they're not pilfered. I mean, I did ask, <laughs> but they are ill-gotten gains. Let's say that. So this is my commonplace journal. Again, this is a, a little book that I made several weeks ago and every week before I start um, my filming of all of the different things. I like to come in here and just sort of play. I mean, it just, it puts me in a good mood. And then when I start getting into the budgeting videos, you know, hopefully those will even each other out. And so this is my progress so far. And I really like how this page came out and I'm probably gonna do something like this again. Um, this is what we did last week. And I do want to thank Anne. Uh, she had left a comment that says uh, to her, the run the mile you are in means be in the now, live in the present. And then Charlotte, who I mentioned uh, just a bit earlier, says uh, she Googled it, which I should have done, but I film with the phone that I would Google with. <laughs> So um, she said when she Googled it, it means face your fears, stand and deal with your problems, don't run from them. And that's probably why I don't know what that means because I run from my problems all the time. It's pretty much the only <laughs> exercise I get. So yeah, thank you Charlotte and Anne for leaving those comments. Lots of people up, 
other comments, but they specifically spoke to what that sticker meant to them. Now we are going to do a two page spread because I do want to do some testing. So we'll put this to the side. And I will be using this as my palette, so to speak. I do buy these label sheets from Amazon and when I get an order or when I send Happy Mail, I can actually print the entire mailing label on here. So I just wanted to show you um, why I have this and because it is a slick surface, I think it would work okay with um, as a palette for our different watercolors to see how they turn out. Now the reason I had mentioned Charlotte earlier is because um, she saw the Commonplace video and she said she may have to look into getting some watercolor pens. And I said, well, I've got a few ideas, so let me test them out. And that's why this video is going to go up earlier than I usually put it up. And we'll see, you know, if there's some alternatives um, to something like this or just a brush pan. So let me get my pens. See if we can have some semblance of order here. Now this is a template uh, that actually belonged to my sister. She used to do uh, paper crafting and things. I, I don't actually know what she used this for, but I found it and I thought, you know, I could use a whole template of circles. I was going to call them holes because it says holes right there. <laughs> Pencil allowance on all holes. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that means. And it looks like they've got some rounded corners that you could because I think the rounding is different. Yeah, so this is I guess a one inch round, a five eighths round, three fourths round. I have no idea what this is for but we're going to use it. And then we'll use this as our palette, like I mentioned. And what I wanna test is, we already know that these sangria pens work a treat when it comes to doing some watercoloring, but I wanted to test out some other type of pens that you might already have on hand and see how they work. Yeah, let's do blues. So this is my mild liner and I'm just going to color on this. And because it is a slick surface, that's why it's beading. And oh, even the Sharpie doesn't want to stay. So that's the mild liner. And then we will get a complementary blue out of our washable markers here. Well, that's the same thing, but I do want, or nearly, but I, I want more of a distinction. So let's, let's go with this one. And so this is Crayola. is different. So we'll do that one. And that's Sangria. And then the watercolors we will actually just leave here in the paint pot. Um, because obviously that's going to work. <laughs> 
so hopefully you guys can see this. Now with the watercoloring, there isn't as much texture or buckling as you think. There is some slight warping here, but we did use quite a bit of water around here to try to thin it out. But yeah, it's, it's not as bad as I would thought. And I don't, I don't mind the texture. I think it gives it kind of a junk journal kind of feel. So that's perfectly okay with me. And no, I don't think a gel pen would work. All right, so let's go with these. And we'll use our stencil. And I, I think the Muji is waterproof. You know what? No. Let's see if we can do some circles. I don't want to put the stencil in the ink though. <laughs> and if we hold down, maybe we can get a good color. So. We're gonna put it in the mild liner, and it definitely gets that wet. And we'll draw, oh, nope, it's bleeding. So it definitely bled through. I don't know that if we put a tape on it that it would prevent that. All right, so let's put another little bubble. And we'll go with the Crayola. And we'll wash that out. It's definitely more vibrant then a mild liner is supposed to be mild. So that does make sense. And that one, because we didn't make it as juicy, it didn't, it's more of a, a, a better circle than that top one up there. And let's do a little one right there with the sangria. Oh, that's a nice color. <laughs> I want a little bit more white space. And that one looks okay. All right. I actually don't mind the look of this, that it's not perfect and the color of it. I think that's actually really pretty. So let me wipe my stencil down. And then we'll do, well, no, if we're gonna be scientific, then let's do a tiny one up here. And we're just going to work directly in the paint. Oh, look at that, guys. That's a beautiful blue. That is way more vibrant than I thought it would be. <laughs> I thought it would be totally washed out. I'm, I'm quite impressed by those purloined <laughs> watercolors. All right, and let's do the test where, let's see if we can wash it out. Oh. Let's just do a line. And then we'll take some water. There's some slight bleeding, but not as much as you would think. And actually it fades, I don't know if you can see it, but it fades the ink. So that's interesting. And there's just a little bit of bleed through there. And that was our mild liner. And then our Crayola. 
which is Blue Lagoon. We'll do that. And we will get our brush. Now I'm taking off some of the water. I'm not leaving it soaking wet. And again, it does fade out some of the ink, but not as much um, of a watercolor effect as you would anticipate with all that water. So that's Crayola. And then we had our Sangria. And we're gonna wash that out. Nope, still very light on the pigment. And that's Sangria. And hold on. I got another one of those um, backings of the label sticker paper because I want to try to fling some paint. Let's see if that works. All right, so what direction would I fling it so I'm not flinging it in my face? Well, that does absolutely nothing. All right, we've got some flingage. We've got some flingage, guys. Let's put it in here. Maybe we need some darker color. Oh! <laughs> okay. And boom. Look, we are just totally being artists. Fling it and fling. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This is going to sound super morbid, but that looks like a blood spatter of a smurf. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, that's lovely. Fling and fling. All right, so those Crayola, uh, not the Crayola, the Crazy Art. It wasn't a name brand. The Crazy Art um, watercolors, very pigmented and flingable. And yep, that is an art term because we are artists and I just said it. So... Let's, I mean, since I already have a blue finger, let's just get crazy. <laughs> oh, Smurf, what's going on? And boom. All right, put that in there. That's gonna bother me. <laughs> oh. Wait, are these not washable? All right, guys, I can't find, I mean, we, we literally just had it, but I can't find the thing that was in here. And that's staining quite a bit. I would hope that this was washable. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to explain a blue finger. <laughs> Sorry, officer. I don't know what happened to Papa Smurf. <laughs> All right, let's dry this off. Now, Andy from It's a Reading Thing, see, um, in it, if not the last video, then the video before, I mentioned that I don't have one of those heating tools to heat this to dry it. Um, and she said, um, she recommended, well, you, I think you can just use a hair dryer, but I, I don't have one of those <laughs> either. <laughs> so we're going to just, we're going to blot, blot, blot. And really it's because I want to put a sticker on here. I don't know that it'll stick if it's still wet. Now you can definitely see some buckling. Oh, and we had some bleed through from the Crayola pen and some slight from the sangria. And again, I don't know if that's because uh, we added all that water or not. 
And there's some glue there. All right, so I've got this quotes sticker book and we'll just add a sticker or two. And it's bad when you're, oh, look at this. This is perfect. Bless this hot mess. Yes, sir. So we'll put this down here. And then we're really looking for color than anything else. And that's a really bad way to choose a sticker in a commonplace book, but yep, that's what we're doing. Attract what you expect, reflect what you desire, become what you respect, mirror what you admire. Okay, yes. Not quite the colorway, but I think it will work. <clears throat> I'm going to do just a tiny bit of journaling, guys, and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, guys, so this is my entry for the Commonplace Journal for this week. I did go ahead and mark the different pens just so that I can remember uh, what it was. Oh, I mean, we do have it there. <laughs> the stickers are trying to lift a little bit, but I'm hoping as it becomes more dry, they will stay stuck down. If they lift more, then I can always use some a wet glue or a glue stick just to keep it down. Thank you, Charlotte, for putting that comment, uh, just because I did want to uh, test out some things. Thank you to my boss for letting me... <laughs> have this. Now I think this watercolor set is like a dollar at Walmart. Again, it, it's, it was more, um, when I read the comment, it just seemed to be sort of divine intervention that, you know, we were going to go to the ice cream social and donate some school supplies. And she had this with the stack of donations that she had. So, um, yeah, and I'm on the committee, so I, I can buy a replacement and you know, replace the purloined goods. Honestly, from a pigment standpoint, I am so surprised by the crazy art. I, I fully thought it would have been a much lighter uh, type of wash. Um, the Crayola, I think works okay. The Sangria, the mild liner. Um, so if, you know, if you're getting brush pens, then I would definitely recommend the Sangria ones because that's the ones I have and I have been playing with. Last time I looked on Amazon, they were running like $11, so that's a good price. This here is, like I said, I think less than a dollar. Crayola also has their own. I don't, I don't have it, so the Crazy Art um, version, um, at least the blue, is very pigmented. Although, I guess... I mean, you're only dealing with the primary colors here, whereas with Crayola, you could find some of the really interesting colors and you'd have a lot of different pigments. The mild liners worked pretty well. I mean, the, the liner itself is rather light, so I didn't expect it to be that much darker. This is actually the wrong one. It was this blue that we used but still a, a very nice color and i mean if you have them it could be a good alternative because I like that brown there that's an interesting color to have all right guys so that's it for me as i've been doing and thank you lorette again for the 
the suggestion, I will come back and write in here some more. It's just as of right now, I think this is sufficient for me. I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> and then get on with the rest of my videos. Let me know what you think about playing in here. I think this would make a really interesting spread um, if you did varying colors. I think the blues are really nice. If, I don't know if I have, I think I have a mermaid sticker. I'm pretty sure in one of the gold, squad gold girls, there's a mermaid sticker. So I think that would look really cute. Depending on the colors you did, this could make really cute balloons. Ah. Put a little bubble there and oh guys look it is really cute and this balloon I'm not sure what's going on with this one and then this balloon this one there oh that's actually quite sweet I also think that if you did um, an inside of a really light color and then you drew some line or some circles around it, uh, that would make a very interesting, like if you made a, a really big circle and you did your wash of color in the middle and then you drew some lines around it and then you put like August, I think that would look really pretty. Maybe I'll test that out when I do my setup for August, but yeah, just some other ways to look at this. Oh, guys, look, we're playing, we're playing. All right, that's it for me for now, Commonplace Journal. I will have the playlist link below. If you have any questions, like I said, go ahead and leave me a comment and as always, Aloha.